Hello. In the previous videos, we saw how to use shape files, add polygons to add shapes over to world map. We also looked at how to use the shape click event. And in this video, we'll use those concepts to add a marker over onto the shape which we clicked or country which we click. So we also have a pop-up and on the right hand side in the absolute panel we also display the latitude and longitude along with the country name this data is coming from the spdf object the spatial polygon data frame object basically what we are doing is with the click event we are identifying which shape it is or which country it is and then we are going back to our SPDF object and then subsetting the data for that particular country and pulling out the latitude, longitude and the country name. Let's go to our studio. Okay, you will load the required packages and then we'll load the shape files on into my SPDF object. Then we have got the uh, UI component where we have we are displaying the map using leaflet output my map is the output object and then we've got the absolute panel where we have uh, a message welcome to the world map and also we are uh, displaying a text output where we will show the latitude longitude and the name of the country which the user has selected in the some server component we have uh, the initial leaflet uh, mapping uh, in the render leaflet function we have got uh, leaflet function on uh, data my spdf we added tiles we set the initial view uh, with latitude equals 10 longitude equals 0 and zoom level 2 we added polygons with the label and layer ID. So let me touch uh, a little bit on to uh, layer ID. L label, we are assigning the column variable name. So this is coming from uh, my SPDF uh, spatial polygon data frame. And then layer ID, why layer ID? We need to use layer ID so that when the user clicks on uh, a particular shape, we can identify which shape is clicked and we can use it uh, further for our logic or um, uh, you know doing some programming uh, in the previous video we saw that we did not define the layer id but in this case we are going to define the layer id and we have defined the layer id as the name of the country we are going to use this to subset when the user click uh, clicks on a shape we will identify using the layer ID and then we will subset the SPDF um, data object and pull out the latitude longitude and the country name from there so moving on we have the observe section where we have the leaflet proxy we are going to use this to update our map we are capturing the shape click event and if we recall the shape click event returns the layer id the longitude and latitude and we are using the layer id here we'll say subset my spdf where my spdf dollar name equals input dollar my my map underscore shape underscore click dollar id so wherever the id is matching or the layer id is matching with the name in spdf pull the latitude longitude and the name of the country we have another variable here lat equals sub underscore lat lat which we are, we are basically uh, taking out the latitude from the subset data subsetted data we're taking out the longitude and the name then we are saying if 
click is null meaning if nothing is clicked return null or don't return anything else if it is clicked then update the leaflet map so we are using leaflet proxy my map is the leaflet object once it is clicked use the latitude and longitude here whatever we pulled and set the view accordingly with the zoom level 5 clear all the previous markers you might be having and add new marker with the latitude and longitude we have pulled and also in the pop-up show the name which we have pulled so basically in this observe we are capturing the click event because we have a dependency on it and once the shape is clicked we are pulling we are subsetting the data pulling out the latitude longitude name and using it to set the view as well as add the markers in the next section we used another observe and here we will be based on the click event we will display the latitude longitude and name of the country in the absolute panel so pretty much same logic we are pull we are subsetting we are pulling but here what we are doing is we are saying output doll dollar text this is the text output object we're saying render text paste latitude equals lat, lat longitude equals lng all this we have pulled here already and the name of the country as nm let me run the app 